Well, we will go from one seat that's under threat from an independent to another. This time in the eastern suburbs of Sydney, we are talking about Wentworth, Blue Ribbon, another Blue Ribbon electorate uh, that was also the electorate of a former Prime Minister who's not anywhere to be seen at the moment. A Climate 200 backed independent looking to unseat the moderate Liberal, the incumbent there, Dave Sharma. He holds it by 1.3%, but it is tough competition that's coming from the independent Allegra Spender who we heard from last hour. Danica De Giorgio is there for us the, uh, this morning. Danica, what's the feeling on the ground at the moment? Pete, it's quite mixed. We've been speaking to voters all morning and it really it has been 50-50. We're currently in Bellevue Hill in the electorate of Wentworth. The line here is actually moving quite quick. Some of the polling booths we've been to this morning, the lines have been very long, but uh, actually at this one, it looks like uh, the sausage sizzle line might even be a little bit longer than the line to vote. But in good news, though, they are moving quite quickly. But I do have the current Liberal MP for Wentworth, Dave Sharma, with me right now. Good Dave, good to see you. Good you see voted you. this morning. How are you feeling? Oh, look, I'm feeling uh, you're always anxious on election day. I think any politician who says they're not is not telling you the truth. Uh, but I also feel that the voters here know about the importance of the choice they face and they're two quite stark alternatives here. So I'm counting on the good sense of the voters of Wentworth to um, vote for stability, vote for certainty, uh, return me and return the Morrison government. You're up against a Climate 200 backed independent. Allegra Spender's campaign is very visible. She really is everywhere you go in Wentworth. Do you think that that's going to hinder your campaign? Well, I think you can sometimes mistake noise and activism for voter sentiment. And I think there's no doubt they've got a lot of money that Simon Holmes Accord has provided them and they're spending a lot of money. But I have heard from a lot of people they've been a little irritated in the sort of in-your-face and aggressive tactics that that campaign has been using. Um, I've been running a traditional campaign that's, I think, in tune with the moods and values of this seat. Um, and we'll see which one delivers the result. Are you disappointed Scott Morrison didn't campaign with you throughout this campaign? No, look, not at all. I've had lots of support from um, many senior cabinet ministers throughout this campaign. He's the prime minister. He's the leader of our party. He's got 151 potential electorates to campaign in, and he's got to go where he can be of most impact. So you weren't left to your own devices? No, not at all. I had all the support I possibly could have wanted, but I'm also conscious that ultimately, you know, this vote's not about anyone else on the ballot paper. This vote's about me, Dave Sharma, standing as the member for Wentworth. Dave Sharma, thank you very much for speaking with us. All the best today. Here's what we uh, got from a few voters we spoke to today. But I voted Liberal, so ah. vote Liberal. Uh, I think that we need to try and bring down housing affordability. It's pretty big. Um, I think that we really need to try to stave off inflation. I think ultimately when preferences flow through, I think Sharma's going to be better. My issues are security, stability, and I think that's what Scott Morrison is offering. So Dave Sharma had your vote this election? Absolutely, 100%. I am not a great fan of our current Prime Minister. So, Pete, as you heard there from those voters, quite a mixed response. 1.3%. That's the current margin. We'll see what tonight brings. Yeah, and uh, good luck bringing down housing affordability in Sydney's eastern suburbs. <laughs> Danica, thank you. We'll talk to you soon. Yeah.